Hey kiters, Joe here, the Air Rush Department Manager at Perth's first kitesurfing shop, Airborne Kitesurfing. I'm also the founder of The Upwinder, a service dedicated to helping you enjoy the ocean more. This video briefly outlines the differences between twin tips for kitesurfing. You should watch this video if you're actively looking for another twin tip or would like to understand how your board fits within the range. There are loads of different boards out there and there's a board out there that's perfect for you. Having the right board will enable you to have more fun and progress faster. Twin tips can be divided into four categories. Beginner, free rider, advanced free rider and freestyle weight style. There is a twin tip that is excellent for getting learning kiters up onto the surface and edging upwind really quickly. While there is also a board that is perfect for performance freestyle tricks. The dynamics of a board typically depend on three factors, the flex, the rocker, and the dimensions of the board. Let's see how these attributes alter a board's performance. Flex, or stiffness of a board, is a major attribute of the board's performance, where the stiffer the board, the more advanced a rider it is suited to. As you can see here, the beginner board has a lot of flex, whereas the freestyle board has no flex at all. The stiffness results in a huge impact on handling. When riding a stiff board, as you lean onto the edge, the board doesn't noticeably flex and you get ultimate control and immediate response, as desired. The trait of the quick response is lack of forgiveness, where a soft board would allow a beginner to catch an edge and continue riding, a stiff board would constantly cause that same beginner to catch an edge and fall fast. The rocker of the board enables pop and assist with landings as the rider is able to vary how much the board edge is engaged with the water. The more rocker, the more advanced a rider the board is suited to. In the foreground, you can see a beginner board contrasted with an advanced freestyle board in the background. Notice how the front board has significantly less rocker. The most crucial aspect to getting a board that is the right size is matching it to your weight. Personally, I weigh 80 kilos and would be suited to boards between 133 and 140 centimeters. Let's see why I should select different size boards depending on my skill level. These boards are all the same length, but you should get a board that is suited to your level of riding. Beginners will want longer boards, as the longer edge on the board will allow you to more easily edge upwind. It will also allow you to pop up onto the surface quicker due to the increased surface area. Free riding boards are smaller, which enables riders to more easily pop off the water and get rotating in the air for their first tricks. As your performance improves, you'll want to increase the size of the board, as it will enable you to build up more power into the board, and as such, experts typically ride the largest boards. From shortest to longest, boards go free rider, advanced free rider, learner, then freestyler. Remember, the learner board here may be around the same length as a freestyle board, but it is much softer and flatter. If you're a beginner and you have a board that is either too small or too stiff for you, I'd recommend trying to find a board more suitable to your needs, as it'll help you get edging upwind and having way more fun. The biggest hurdle to this sport is getting to the point where you can tack out and come back in and not get, get blown downwind. Get the tools you need to get you there quicker. If you've just got over the beginner hurdle, I'd recommend getting a slightly smaller and stiffer board next, as it'll help you with your first few tricks, like back rolls. The smaller board is easier to pop off the surface of the water and allows you to maintain control in higher winds. If you're happily throwing your first few tricks, you should start to look for a board that is stiffer, longer and has more rocker. It's important to match the board to the riding conditions of your area. Thanks for watching this video. I'm working hard to produce quality content that will help you get more out of kiting. Check out my Upwinder website for more info on selecting the right gear for you. I'd love to keep in touch with you via Facebook or email. Just Google Upwinder. If you'd like to learn more about Airrush, check out their website and Facebook page or call us here at Airborne Kitesurfing, Perth's premier kitesurf shop.